Hey guys, so I'm back with a, another video. This video will consist of items I picked up in after Christmas sales from Target, Walmart, and Bass. It's a weird collection of stores, but well, whatever. So I went to Target and a part of Christmas tradition in my family because we do Christmas like no other. I mean, we go hard for Christmas. So my mother stocks up on like bows, gift wrap, gift tags, ribbon, because we don't just wrap presents like anybody. My mother like coordinates the bow with the tag, with the paper and the ribbon. She, I mean, she gets so into it and that's costly. So we get all of that stuff after Christmas when everything is 50 to 75% off. And then some stores now I'm noticing more and more with their collections, let's say they put together like gift baskets or this, that, and the other for certain lines, those are now going on sale. So I always check that out when we're looking for um, Christmas stuff. So the first thing I got was this NYX collection from Target. I know some Targets are carrying actual NYX NYX line of cosmetics. We don't have that yet. This is the first NYX stuff I've ever seen in my Target. I mean, I'm in Maine. We're like the last to get anything. So I'm not surprised we don't have it in there yet. Um, and I just, for whatever reason, whenever I go to Ulta, the way the NYX stuff is sectioned off, it's like in this really like far distant land. I never think to go there. And I don't go to Ulta super often anyways. So I wanted to try NYX products, but I just mm, never got around to it. So this was originally $10 and it comes with a lip liner, a pump it up lip plumper, the diamond sparkle lipstick, and glam lip gloss. And so I just liked this, I thought it was super cute and it was on sale for $4.98 and I feel like I'm the last person ever on their channel to review NYX products but I thought I would just quickly swatch them for you guys because they still I mean at least at my target they had a ton of these and the elf ones were all on sale I didn't see anything from the elf line that I wanted um but I mean you can still go out and get them and there were two variations of this NYX one uh, and then they also had if I can get these out they also had NYX like face products like eyes um but again, that didn't strike my fancy. I have enough neutral eyeshadows that I don't need anymore. So I'll swatch for you first the Glam Lip Gloss. It's an Aqua Luxe. I don't know if that's the color. Oh, it just looks like it's oh High Society. Sometimes I feel like on NYX products, it's really hard to find the names of the products. Ooh, girl, I'm liking that. First off, this is the wand. It's nice. And then this is, ooh, it's so tingly. I know some people think that this stuff is out, like, out of date. Sorry, my nails are horrendous. But look at how sparkly that is. I love that. Okay, super. And then up next is the Pump It Up Lip Plumper in Lindsay. Oh, huh. Ooh, that's, again, frosty. It's much more, like, silvery. For the other one was, like, a, um, like a rose gold. So this is more, like, just a straight... Uh, frost but I still like it there's that I think it would be nice over like um, another color then I've got the lip liner in grapefruit well oh, that's a nice color and fine and I like that you twist it up I like that and then finally I have sparkling flower in the lipstick Ooh, and I like that as well. So there are those three. So this is my first real like ex exploring of NYX products and I'm really excited. I got my mother, we went into Ulta at, yesterday and I bought another one of these, but I don't know where I put it. And she has had a problem. She bought this really like nice expensive red lipstick, but it bleeds. It's always on her teeth. It's always around her mouth and I hate it. So I had told her, I was like, let's try a red NYX lipstick. I see positive things about it online. So we found her a nice red one and then I bought, I had her buy the nude liner. I thought that would be nice maybe to help lock in because the people that have it really rave about it and she's much more into lipstick. She's always wearing red lipstick than me. So I hope it works out for her. If not, she'll just return it, but whatever. So that was what I got at Target. Next, I went to Walmart and I found this bad boy. I've only ever really used Tresemme products for the styling spray just to protect my hair from heat protectant because I straighten it almost every single day. 
And so I saw this and I thought, oh boy, I like the, sorry, it's a little shiny. I like the spray. It comes with the keratin infusing shampoo, the conditioner, the smoothing serum, and the heat protection shine spray. And I've been using this right now and I like it. And this alone is five, four or five dollars depending on where you go. I've never tried the shampoo, but if it's anything like this stuff, I'm going to like it. And then the smoothing serum, I'm almost out of the stuff that I use on my bangs to help get them not like looking all frizzy and junky. So I'm excited to have that. This was retailing at a $19 value is what they were selling it as. Um, but Walmart was selling it for $13.88 and then it was half off. So I got it for, I think it was like $6.50, $6.97. It was, maybe it was $7, but either way, this is well worth the price of it. And they had tons, they had Suave, they had, Olay and Venus ones, they had men's um, Gillette ones, they had Garnier Fructis ones, so, and those were all cheaper than this one, this one was more expensive, the razor ones were obviously about the same price, but I thought this was a great deal, so I definitely picked it up, and all of their stuff is half off, any of the gift sets, so I would totally go check it out if you guys are in the market for any of that stuff, because I just think it's worth it's just worth it. It's so good. It's worth going through the craziness of Walmart to find that stuff. And then the last place for this particular haul that I went was Bass. My boyfriend is obsessed with Bass and we have two, no three, we have three Bass outlet stores in our general area within like a half an hour of where we live. So that's where we tend to, my parents get him shirts there, his mom got him clothing there. He loves everything from Bass. He's a Bass guy. Well, he is also a small guy, so mediums don't fit him because he's teeny tiny. So he had to go back and do returns, and so we went and did that. And then I thought, well, I would like to look at the lady section. Even though I don't really have good luck there, except for their shoes. I love their shoes. I'm sorry. I'm ranting. Let's get to the point of this. So there were pants. I've been looking for black jeans for years. And you think black jeans, they're in style. They've been in style for years. I can't find a pair. This body is so particular. I can't. Hmm, I can't figure it out. So we saw a pair of black jeans. I've never tried pants on from them before. I'm not a pants person. I prefer dresses, but that's fine. And then we saw corduroys. And I have not owned corduroys in a few years. So we tried both of them on. And, well, we didn't. I did, obviously. So the first ones I got were these beautiful. They're like not quite a mint green, not quite aqua. I love them. They're straight legs. These were originally $72. I don't know what human being would pay $72 for these. I got them for $16. Love them. Super comfy. And then I tried on a pair of black jeans, which I'm super excited about. The only con of these was that they're ankle. So technically, like if I were to wear them with flats right now, I'd look like a fool in the winter. But because I'm in Maine and because I wear boots all the time, it's not a big deal. And I love the way they fit. And I've wanted black jeans for so long. These were also originally 72, but I got them for 16. I don't mind spending that on pants. And now I'm set for pants for forever because I only, I don't wear dress pants. Only wear skirts and dresses to school. So I don't need Pants for, I don't need that many pairs of pants or jeans or whatever. So these will hold me over for quite some time. And I was really excited. And everything in the store was super cheap because they have night, they do have really nice clothing. My boyfriend got um, a couple of dress shirts. He, I mean, he did well for himself. And with his return, he only ended up paying like $5 or something for everything. So that is it for this haul. Stay tuned. I have still Old Navy, Macy's, and JCPenney to share with you. Um, and again, these sales are going all at least through the weekend. So if you guys are interested in them, I encourage you to go out and pursue them because again, you can get pretty good deals, especially if you're doing returns and not pay much out of pocket and get so much more, you know, in exchange for it. But that's it for this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next haul video. Bye.